In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to run TikTok ads on your Shopify store for beginners in 2024. We're going to show you how to set up your TikTok ads account, how to link it with Shopify, and how to create a successful campaign in order to market your product or service. Stay tuned to the end of the video. You're not going to want to miss any of the steps that we have for you here today. But first, let's discuss what TikTok ads is and why it's one of the best platforms to advertise on right now, especially for beginners. TikTok over the past five years has been one of the fastest growing social media platforms platforms of all time. TikTok ads in particular over other social media ads like Instagram and Facebook ads provide a highly effective way to maximize ad spend ROI. This has provided new opportunity for people considering to advertise on the platform. One great thing about TikTok for beginners is that the ads generally require a little bit less polish than other platforms like Instagram. Some of the best performing TikTok ads are some of the lowest effort ones to create, which makes this very easy and accessible for beginners to start generating user-generated content or UGC. So if you're interested in seeing how TikTok ads can be a game changer for your business, make sure you watch through the entire video to see how you can create a successful campaign. Let's create our our business account with TikTok. We'll leave a link down below in the description. Go ahead and click on that and we can join up here together. Once you've clicked on that link, it should bring you to a page that's similar to this and you can just go ahead and click get started. Now we're going to go ahead and create our account. So let's put in our email and our password. And once you've done that, just go ahead and click to accept the terms here and then you can continue. And once you've done that, it's just going to ask you to confirm your email. Now that you've done that, it's going to ask you a couple questions about your business. So let's go ahead and choose our industry. For the sake of this video, let's just say that we're going to sell a phone clean. Let's go ahead and put our business name in here and our mobile phone number as well. Let's go ahead and agree to the terms and service and then click get started. There's also a couple of things that you can customize here if you click down, but they've already been auto populated for us. Now that we've clicked get started, it'll bring us to this page here. We can just go ahead and accept and then we can go ahead and choose the state that we are in. I'm in California, so I'll choose that one and then we can click manual payment. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and go to the ads manager. Now it gives you the option here to choose either basic ads or advanced ads. Now for the sake of this video, let's just go ahead and choose advanced ads, that's going to give you a lot more autonomy over everything in the process. Now that we've clicked that, we have to choose our advertising objective. So you see here we have reach, and that is going to tell more people about our product or service. We have traffic as well, that's going to drive people to a website. We also have video views, that's going to maximize the views on our ad. Community interaction, get more people on TikTok to follow you. Then you also have app promotion if you want somebody to install your app. Then there's lead generation, which is just going to collect leads using instant forms. And then there's website conversions, and this is the one that we actually want. And then also there's product sales. But let's go ahead and choose website conversion. This is going to be the best for Shopify. And we're going to leave smart performance campaign off. We're going to do all the work here. We don't need TikTok to help us with it. Once we're on website conversions and we have smart performance campaign off, let's go ahead and select website conversions. Once you've clicked that, the settings page should pop up here. We can go ahead and give our campaign a name. So I'm just going to call it phone cleaner one. For special ad categories, you're not going to need that. And for create a split test, we're going to skip this as well. The next option here is the campaign budget optimization. This is going to automatically optimize the budget that you have given TikTok to spend. You might want to use this later on, but we're just going to keep it off for now. The next thing that we have to do is set the campaign budget. Now, TikTok recommends that we spend at least $50 per day. So let's just go ahead and do that. And once we're finished with that, we can go ahead and click on the bottom right here and continue. Now that we've got this far, this is the part of the video where we want to connect our Shopify with our TikTok account. So if you don't have a Shopify yet, go ahead and click on the link down below in the description and you can sign up for a Shopify account today. Once you've clicked on that link, it should look something like this. Go ahead and enter your email address to start your free trial. Now the free trial is a three day free trial. And then the first month is only $1, which is a great deal. So basically for the first 33 days, you can get started on Shopify for $1. Once you put in your email, you can go ahead and answer these questions here, or you can just go ahead and skip them. Next, just go ahead and choose the area you're located in. And then it'll bring you to this page here where you have to sign in with your account or create an account. For you, you're going to have to create an account. If it's your first time, I'm just going to sign in with my account, but it's going to bring us to the same page here. Once you've signed in with your account, it should bring you to the home page of Shopify here. Now, what we're going to want to do is to go down to the bottom here and click this little arrow next to apps. Let's go ahead and search TikTok. It's going to be the first one that pops up and let's go ahead and click on it. Now it's going to bring us to this page and all we have to do is press install. And once we've done that, we can just go ahead and install it here. After you've clicked install, it might give you a page that looks like this. And all you have to do is add the sales channel. If not, you should be on this page here and you're going to want to click setup now. Next, 
Next, it'll bring you to this page and you're just going to want to connect your TikTok account with Shopify. After you've done that, this page will pop up and then you can press connect. And as you can see here, our TikTok phone cleaner professional account is set up with our Shopify. Let's just go ahead and press connect. Now that we've done that, we're here at data sharing and we want to give them the maximum information possible. That's just going to make sure that we have all the analytics available to create a good ad and to see how it's running. Once you've done that, you'll see that it's created our pixel down here and we can just go ahead and press confirm. Great. And once you're all set up, all five of these should be green and you can just press finish setup. And now you can see that our account is under review. Now they say this normally takes 24 hours, but mine took a lot faster than that. Now that you're finished with that, let's go back to our TikTok shop account. And if you click here on select pixel, our pixel should pop up right here. And you'll see that this Shopify number should match the one on our Shopify website. Now the next thing here is optimization event. So let's click on this and see what we can optimize for. So we can optimize for view content, add to cart, complete payment, add payment info, initiate checkout. The one that we're going to want to choose is complete payment. Now that we scroll down here, we're on the placement section. Now you can either choose automatic placement or select placement. So let's go ahead and choose select placement. And you'll see that these couple things pop up here. There's TikTok, global app bundle and Pangle. Now you're going to want to deselect everything that's not TikTok. This is going to allow us to know for sure that all our traffic is coming through TikTok and not some other source. And actually you can leave this button clicked here to include search results. TikTok has actually become one of the world's biggest search engines. So that's just going to help you get more traffic. If you click on advanced settings here, you can see that you can allow users to comment. We'll leave that one on. You can allow the video to be downloaded. We're going to check that. So it's going to be harder for people to steal our video. So make sure that that one is checked off and the other two are fine to stay on. And when you scroll down here, we're going to get into the targeting section and you can see that this will allow us to target a specific demographic of the population. You can go ahead and give this audience a name if you like. And then as you scroll down, you'll see that we get to choose from gender and age. Now we're going to leave gender alone, but for the age, we're going to select everything 18 and up. The reason for this is that 13 to 17 year olds are probably not going to be able to purchase our product. They likely don't even have credit cards to do that. So we're just going to select 18 and above. And then in terms of language, we can go down here and select English. And another neat targeting feature here is that you're able to target a specific wealth of the population. So if you go under household income here, you can select top five zip codes of the US. Let's say you're selling a hyper niche, really expensive product, and you just want to sell it to the most wealthy people in the United States, then maybe this is a good option for you. And then you can also include or exclude audiences here that you've previously set up. And if you scroll on here, you can target interests and behaviors as well. Now we're not going to go into too much detail. We'll let you play around with it on your own, but just know that it's a pretty powerful tool if you decide to use it. Now we're in the budget and schedule section, and you'll see here that we have to choose a daily budget for our ads. A budget of $70 is suggested to optimize for conversions, but you don't have to do that. You can go lower if you like. We're just going to leave it at 50 for now. We can always build our way up to spending more and more when we know that our ad is working effectively. And then you can set your time here if you want to change that. We're just going to leave it as is for now. Now, when we scroll down, we are at bidding and optimization, and you can go ahead and click on the optimization goal and we can choose which one we'd like to do here. We've already chosen for conversion, but you can do value and click as well. So let's just stick with conversion. If you put in a number here, then TikTok is going to keep the average cost per result around this stated value. And then there's also attribution settings here. We're just going to go ahead and skip those for now and press next. Now we're finally in the space where we can create the ad. So at the top here, you see the smart creative ads. We're just going to leave that off. This is going to auto generate ads for you. We don't want to do that. We want to create our own ads. And just to recap here on the left hand side, you'll see that we've created our campaign. Then there was the ad group and then the ad. And now we're within the ad. So there's these three levels that exist here within the TikTok ad. Let's go ahead and give our ad name a name. We'll just call this ad. Now you can choose whether you want a single video or a carousel here. And then when you're ready to start uploading your video, just go ahead and click upload here and then you can drag and drop the video there. You can also choose create and this will help you create a new video. You can edit the new video here. You can add subtitles, add music, or you can have the smart video generate a video for you. The text section here is so you can add your text for the video. If you want to add any creative add ons, you can do that in this section here as well. And for the destination section, you can just go ahead and enter your URL here and that way it's available within the description of your video. If you want to add a disclaimer, you can just go ahead and check this box and put add as well. There are also tracking options. So if you want to add a specific app event or offline event, you can put those in here. And for impression tracking and click tracking URL, you can add those here. Now let's briefly just talk about what is going to create a good ad. The first thing that you need to do when creating a good ad is a strong hook. Now this can be a phrase or response that invokes emotion, or you can just drop somebody right into the middle of your story. For example, for our phone cleaner, we can say something like this. This is the best phone cleaner I have ever used. Or we can say something like I've tried thousands of phone cleaners and this is by 
far the best. The second part is the story. This is the four to six sentences in the middle of your ad that are going to captivate your audience. It's basically going to tell them why you should buy this product. And the last part is the most important part, which is the call to action. You want to say something like click below in the description to get the best phone cleaner on the market. That is everything you need to know to run TikTok ads on your Shopify for beginners in 2024. We'll leave our links down below to both TikTok and Shopify. Just note that we do get a small referral fee at no additional cost to you. This really helps us keep creating free videos like this. So thank you so much in advance for using those links. This channel is really dedicated to providing entrepreneurs like yourself with free videos and tutorials to help start and grow your e-commerce brand. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this in the future, please leave us a like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. We wish you the best on your e-commerce journey, and we will see you in the next video.